What's up everyone, this is Austin Wood for GameZone.com. Let's talk about a cyberpunk classic for a second, Ghost in the Shell. Ghost is, well, humongous. It has its name on a lot of stuff, from anime and manga to a variety of games. Now, thanks to studios Nexon and Neeple, it's getting a new face in the form of Ghost in the Shell Standalone Complex Online First Assault. But uh, in the interest of oxygen, we're just going to call it First Assault. It's a free-to-play multiplayer shooter, which, as you can tell, is based on the standalone complex arc of the Ghost franchise. For fans of the show, the creators say it's set around episode 24 of season 1 of the animated series. Unfortunately, it does have three strikes against it for narrative. It's a free-to-play multiplayer shooter. Not a lot of storytelling going on. What you will find is a ton of characters, abilities, music, and other assets that are remarkably faithful to standalone complex. Nexon says they want to find a balance between pleasing fans of the anime and fans of shooters, and they've done a pretty good job of it so far. First Assault currently has three different game types, all of them 8 vs 8. First, you have traditional team deathmatch, which is your standard kill everyone mode. Well, I never said I was good at it. Next is Terminal Conquest, which is more like King of the Hill than Capture the Flag. You do fight for control of terminals and the first team to capture 5 wins, but each time you take one, you spawn in one of these little spider tanks. There's a small cap between the appearance of each terminal, and you're going to want to use that time to hack and destroy any enemy tanks. Trust me, you want to get rid of the enemy tanks. Finally, there's Demolition, an elimination-style plant the bomb mode. One life each, first to win six rounds takes the match. You alternate between attacking and defending, so you wind up placing and defusing bombs. This is probably my favorite mode, just because the one life rule adds a lot of tension to each round. You're the only one left. I'm counting on you. One enemy agent We actually have some very in-depth weapon customization here. You can pick out individual barrels, muzzles, and more for your guns, and from there your three loadouts, each with their own strengths and disadvantages. You can also swap between loadouts in-game after each death or between each round. Now, this is a free-to-play game, and we all know how a lot of those have turned out, as cash cows who've been milked so hard their udders now smoke from friction burn. So let's get the elephant out of the room right now. You can unlock all the gear and characters in First Assault without spending real money. If you want, you can speed things up with real money, but the free currency, aptly named Grind Points, will get you everything except some weapon and character skins. Nexon has explicitly stated there will be no pay-to-win advantages whatsoever. Besides, a lot of gear can only be unlocked by leveling up and spending experience. You also get XP and GP bonuses at the end of each match, as well as loyalty bonuses for logging in every day. In other words, you don't have to pay a cent. The weapons are nice, but the real appeal of First Assault is the unique skill of each playable operative. There will be 8 characters to start, each with their own ability, from deployable turrets to wrist-mounted rockets. Some abilities also support what's called skill sync, a system that lets you share your ability with nearby allies. It works like this, you charge your ability by completing objectives, killing enemies, assisting friends, etc, etc. When you get to rank 1, you can use your ability for yourself. If yours is a 1 and done ability, like turrets or rockets, getting rank 2 will basically just double your payload. But if you save up to rank 2 skill sync, you can then offer that ability to several teammates. I played as Motoka, who has a camouflage ability, and I always loved making my friends invisible with me. Cyberbrain skill downloaded. Get your skill, moving out. Skill sync is the backbone of strategy in First Assault. There are no real limits to how many skills you can share. You and a friend can turn your entire squad into fast-moving, invisible ninjas, or incredibly tanky soldiers that can see enemies through walls. The combinations are limitless, and saving up for skill sync makes a big difference in matches, especially objective-based game types like Demolition. Have you ever had to defend against waves of fast, invisible terrorists? It's not easy. And really, neither is First Assault, but it is a lot of fun. The shooting is fast and responsive, maps are varied and well-designed, and there's a lot of variety in characters and loadouts. And it's Ghost in the Shell, one of the best and biggest cyberpunk series ever made. And did I mention it's free? First Assault is now playable via Steam Early Access, or you can get it straight through Nexon. If you want to figure out how, check out the link below. Once again, this has been Austin Wood for GameZone.com, giving you a first look at First Assault. See you later!